hello my beautiful people how are you guys welcome back to my channel everything oshea and welcome back to a monday motivational y'all i'm excited for today and today's word i'm gonna tell you how uniquely it came to me this word came completely out of the norm um and i guess that's the point of everything is that as i continue to give you all these inspirational words and um these inspirational quotes Sometimes it just comes in different ways. And so this word came to me because um, my daughter. So my daughter is five years old, if you do not know, um, or if this is your first time channeling into my channel, my daughter is five years old and um, she has been experiencing some night terrors. And so my husband and I have been really working through praying and worshiping and just inspiring her, motivating her teaching her how to pray, teaching her the word, showing her children's stories and so forth. So let, needless to say, we have done everything that we can, right, to really help her to conquer her fear at night of going to sleep and having night terrors. Um, until just a couple of days ago, she wakes up and she says to me, mommy, I had a very bad dream and I cannot take it anymore. I don't want to sleep anymore. I don't want to go to bed anymore, especially here. And so my thought was, oh my gosh, like this is really terrifying. It's really scaring you. And she's like, yeah, it's, it's a lot, mommy. You know, I just, I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. And she kept saying, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. And I'm like, okay, baby. So I take a moment. Me and my husband is, this is like early in the morning, y'all, before we even get up to get out of the house. And we sit and we pray. And I pray and I'm like, hmm, she's still afraid. Like, I'm not trying to say like the prayer is magic and just go away like that. But you know, if you know, you know, sometimes prayer can do a lot. And my husband is like, no, you're going to stand. We're going to recite this. And he starts to recite the scripture of fear. And I'm like, okay. And so he's telling her to speak it out and repeat it. And her first reaction was, mm, I'm not going to repeat that. So I'm standing with her and I'm like, no, we're going to stand and we're going to repeat exactly what daddy is saying. And we repeat it and we speak it out loud. It was the power of being able to stand up against her fear and speak out of it. See, oftentimes we want to sit and we want to perseverate in our fear. We want to perseverate why we shouldn't launch what we're what we have um, to launch. Why we shouldn't um, launch that book. Why we shouldn't launch this um, this YouTube series. Why we shouldn't do something. Why we shouldn't go for that job. Why shouldn't we be the ones to take a position that is completely out of our element, but yet it's called for us. We live in fear every single day, every moment of the day. And we don't even realize as humans, as adults, as people, how much fear we have inside of us. And so just as a five-year-old is sitting here and having to stand tall and stand against her own fears of sleeping or her own fears of night terrors, she is standing and she's speaking out with her mouth. She is confessing. She is saying, I am going to take over by the power of Jesus Christ. I'm going to take over this fear at night. I am going to stand above all serpents. I'm going to stand above all darkness in the name of Jesus. And I am going to have a spirit of a sound mind and not a fear. And I was so like, okay, go you. I was so proud of her as a mother because the courage that it takes um, to stand up against your fears. And this entire time I'm sitting and we're watching shows on YouTube, all the Christian shows about fear, and it's in the alignment, right? And it's flowing. And the entire time I'm listening to it and I'm like, wow, yeah, you got to stand against your fears, babe. You got to do this. And the entire time, I feel like the Lord was speaking to me at the same time. What are you afraid of? Why are you stopping and why are you becoming afraid to launch the things that I'm telling you, the things that the desires of your heart? And I'm like, well, because people ain't going to watch it or, you know, I'm afraid of what people are going to say or I'm afraid I'm too Christian. Like, you know, I'm too holier than thou. Really not. But like, well, I'm, I'm just I'm fearful of taking the launch and the steps. And so in that moment, it came to me of stop being fearful and start being fearless. Change your verbiage from being fearful and starting to be fearless. 
Girl, sis, you got it in you. Become that fearless woman. Become that fearless person. Become that fearless child. That girl who stood up against all of those things that was telling her, all the enemies in her head was telling her, you know, oh, be, be afraid. Oh, you don't want to go to sleep. Oh, you shouldn't do this. Oh, you shouldn't do that. And didn't want to use her voice. Instead, she turned it around and she said, I'm going to be fearless. And I took my five-year-old's example and I took it with me and I said, and I'm driving, literally driving her to school. And my mind is like, oh my God, this is for you. <laughs> you have to become fearless. So as I'm teaching her the word, as I'm teaching her the powerfulness of God, I'm also learning through her how to become fearless. So in this season, in 2023, you have to learn to become fearless. Stop sitting, stop pondering, stop wishing, wanting, looking, stop envying, stop scrolling up on your social media like, oh, I like the way they do this or oh, how can I do that? Stop. Become that fearless woman to step out into faith. Step out back into who you can be. Put that cape on, honey. Okay? Put that armor on. Forget a cape. Put your armor on and know who you are in God's kingdom. If you are looking to go back to school, go back to school. Figure out how you're going to do it. Figure out the classrooms. Figure out the assignments. Figure out, you know, how much it's going to cost. Figure it all out. And I know I'm just speaking, but I'm speaking to somebody. If you are wanting to do something and you're not sure how to do it, write it out. The Lord will speak to you. And I can tell you from my own testimony of being so fearful of starting this segment. Are they going to watch it? Is everybody going to like it? This is completely different. I know some people are like, but what about that home decor? <laughs> like so many different things was going through my mind. And I said, I have to do this. This is something that is put on my heart to do, and I have to be fearless in it. I may not know every single scripture. I may not know the entire Bible inside and out. I may get criticized for what I'm saying, how I'm saying it, how I'm doing it, and so forth, right? But I'm stepping out into faith, and I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to move through me. I'm allowing God to do a good work in me. I'm allowing to really put myself on a platform that I have no idea how he's going to use me in, but I'm being fearless, being fearless. If you are someone who's looking to do, um, go into a new job, be fearless. Take that move. If you are someone, you're a stay-at-home mom and you're looking to, what is the Lord going to bring you? Is it writing, writing that book? Be fearless. Write it. Complete it. Do it. Your words, your voice matters, and it's going to touch down into somebody else's heart. It's going to touch down into somebody else's soul, and it's going to be powerful. Be fearless. Do something different that you have never seen yourself do before. Step out onto faith. I promise you, the other side is so much greater. Be fearless in all that you do. So I'm taking, so I'm giving you guys, giving you all this word on being fearless. I hope that in 2023, you take with you, be fearless. So the first thing I want you to think about is what's holding you back from being fearless. Write out the things that is holding you back from becoming fearless. I want you to take a moment in that. And then as you're writing it out, I want you to then write out your second point on how can I step out of this fear? What do, what are the action steps that I need to take? So what are your action action steps to take to step out into that faith, right? Is it finances? Is it designing the program? Is it finding um, the publisher to publish that book? What is it that you need to do to step out into faith, right? And then the next thing I want you to do is to write down how to be fearless. How am I going to now become fearless after I've stepped out into faith? How am I going to become fearless? What What is it going to take for me to be consistently fearless in all things that I do? Because the, the thing is, is that fear is going to come to us in everything. In all things that we do, fear is going to come to us in everything. The enemy is always going to try to find a way to set us back. There's always going to be something in the back of our mind that says you can't do it. You're not good enough, right? And what do you have to do to set your mind apart from that? I am good enough. I will do it. I will complete that mission. I will step it out to faith and complete and do my ministry, right? So I need you to think about those places that are you are holding on to fear. And how are you going to achieve those goals to step out into faith and be fearless and live your best future?
fearless life. Okay, honey, live your best fearless life just like that. All right, you guys. So I hope that this Monday motivation encouraged you. I hope it inspired you. I hope it's feeding your soul, sis. Um, and thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to hit this like button so you can come back for next week's Monday motivation. And also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you like what you see. It also helps my channel grow. Send this to a friend. Send this to a sister or someone who may need some encouragement. I'll see you all next week. Bye.